Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Because today we're watching Best Moments Police versus Angry Karens. Oh, sweet Jesus. Johnson woman who thought her life was over after a minor fender bender and a drunk mom in of Florida course. who decided to fight her arresting officer to a Delta passenger who got herself arrested for refusing to wear her mask on the plane and much more. Here are some of the best moments of Karen's versus police caught on camera. If you don't wear your mask, you get the rovid. That's not good. Car accidents are stressful. We get it. But it's essential to keep yourself calm and grounded. The last thing you should do is blow something out of proportion. This Karen did the opposite after rear-ending a pickup truck at a green light in Wisconsin. Damn. Um, from what I gathered is her, she rear-ended him because he was sitting on a light that comfy. was green. Are you comfy today, sir? And I'm trying to talk to and just calm her down. And she's like, Officer, I don't have to go! You can't leave yet. Yes. Don't leave! Good. <laughs> She's Meet a Kayla alone. Guitare, a local DoorDash driver with a temper. According to her, the pickup driver didn't move at the green light. So she did what any rational person would do. She hit him. Oh, that's going to make your case so much easier. Why are you running away? <laughs> There's an accident. I'm not going oh anywhere. Over here. I'm not going anywhere. Well, you keep running this around. is only the first one. Sit down. You need to get here now. These cops are. No, 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 no. You're not I getting need in to the vehicle. I'm not. You're not getting They're the getting started. Getting no, please. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Stop. Please yeah, get here, please. The cops are trying to arrest me. Kayla, they we're not here me. to arrest you. Please calm down, ma'am. I don't think she can calm down. I don't think she knows the word calm down. I hope she told the cop fuck off. Yeah, she doesn't know the word calm down. She knows the word fuck off, though. Your life isn't over, Kayla, <laughs> but your relationship might be. To their credit, our responding officers did their best to investigate the accident, even if she was being uncooperative. Their mm -hmm. first task was to figure out if she had insurance. One of many words. Hey, Kayla, do you have insurance? <laughs> That's not an answer, Kayla. Let's be honest, this woman doesn't care about insurance. She's convinced hey, this have minor fender bender Fuck completely That's not insurance. her car. Your car is not even touched. We're all laughing, Kayla. And we <laughs> promise we're not laughing with you. We're laughing at you. For the briefest of moments, Kayla seemed to calm down. That, however, didn't last, as she popped off again when officers asked to take pictures of her car. Well, they need evidence. They pictures. have a right to. No! no. <laughs> well, they can still take pictures. There's no damage to his, it doesn't seem like. There's just damage to yours. Yeah, I know! Great! Funny! Great! Get away from me! This is how an accident is. Fuck off! Don't talk to me! Ella, why are you Don't freaking out? Don't talk to me! Why are you freaking out? She didn't get her eight hours sleep. I can't fix it! Actually, you can fix it. It's pretty simple, really. All you need to do is. <laughs> Why are you the commentary is the best. At right this now. point, our officers seem to have fun pushing her buttons. Pretty simple accident, but. <clears throat> it's like an eight year old. <laughs> Here's a good idea. Let's try asking if she has insurance again. She's gonna say fuck off. Current information? Do you have insurance? I'm not giving you anything. Do you, you have insurance? insurance? I'm not giving you anything. Alright, well, we'll just give her a citation. citation for it. Okay, give me yeah. a citation. Keep in mind, this is this is still the first one. I don't have an insurance card! 
that you told me, you just told me that I should kill myself and fuck you. That's what you told us. You have insurance, you were involved in an accident. You need to provide insurance. I don't have the then information. Who, then who is it, Kayla? I don't know. Okay. How do you not know? Come on. In the end, Kayla was charged with disorderly conduct. We believe the police also issued her a citation for driving without proof of insurance. It's unclear if anything else came from the encounter or if Kayla ever got her car fixed. One thing's for sure though, one hungry DoorDash customer never got their dinner. Damn it. Should have had one of those cops who's like, D yeah, you your DoorDasher your mom's embarrassing? got arrested, Wait until here's you your food. 46 year old Sean Malarkey. On June 9th of 2022, officers in Hinsdale, Illinois responded to a call about a drunk driver on West Walnut Street. It turns out that Sean was that drunk driver. Even worse, her young children were sitting in the back seat while she was boozing around town. Officers caught up oh, with great. Mrs. Malarkey, whose name couldn't be more ironic, at her million dollar home after the call came in. They learned that she had a history of DUI and a warrant for domestic battery on her husband. Kudos to him for sticking around. We don't know how anybody could put up with this Karen every day. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, step out of the car right now. Get out of the car. Ma'am, we'll talk about everything, but get out of the car. Yep. If Sean wasn't going to move, then our officers would make her move. Step out. No, like, he has step the out. right to. Off of me. Step out of the car right no, now. Excuse. Yes. No. Step out of the car. Get your get out. Hands no. Get out of the car. I don't no. want to get rest. out. No, I am not. Well, yes, you have you to. No, I am not. Yes, you are. Sorry, Sean, but you can't Uno reverse the arresting officer. Screaming, no, I'm not, only makes things worse. In fact, it's an easy way to get yourself tased. No. Get out of the car now. No. I will tase you if you don't get out of the car. You better take your hands off of me right now. Your Damn. hands off of me. Stop. I told you you're under arrest. Why? Get out of the car. Why? Because you have a warrant and you're wanted no. for a domestic battery. Yes, you are. Excuse me. I just sent a message and I am. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get out of the car right now. No. I told you I can handle this peacefully, but you have to get out of the car. No, you would never yeah. said that. Okay, she's got him there. He didn't technically say, I can handle this peacefully. It was more so implied. No. You're obstructing right now. Do you no, understand No, you're that? obstructing. I'm not going to tell you again. No, I'm not going to tell you again. Reverse psychology is not At this work. point, our officers were getting tired of Sean's games. They dragged her out and slapped the cuffs on, all while she screamed and kicked about how she did nothing wrong. We believe the audio was cut from this segment due to her minor children yelling in the back seat. For their privacy, we'll pick the video back up once the child calms down. Hmm. One female, ten nine five. You did this. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Andy asked you to come out. Excuse me. Andy asked you to get out of the car. No, Andy yanked me. I yanked you because I told you you're under arrest and you refused to exit your vehicle. Yes. I mean, he has body cam. He has the proof. Are you gonna stand up and be cooperative? Are you going to understand that my attorney has filed a motion to quash this? All right, I you just stand here and My attorney has filed a motion. Your lawyer can file all the motions in the world, lady. It doesn't <laughs> change the fact that you're wanted for allegedly trying to hit your husband with your car. You are dead. That's a bit domestic, all right? My children don't have anybody at home right now. You're going to put my kids alone in danger? I need to call my attorney. I'm not getting in my car until I call my attorney. That's I'm calling my... No, I'm calling my attorney. It's not going to happen. No, I'm calling my attorney. I'm going to tell you. Right now. They're just going to no, tase no, her I'm again. Right now you're under arrest. No, I'm I calling my attorney. Sit in the car. My children are home alone. We're giving you an order. Sit in the car. We will my get your father here. here. My children are home alone. alone. My children are home okay. alone. We will and take I'm care home. of your children. No, you're not taking care of shit. I'm going to get Sean continued on this tirade for several more minutes. Here's Jesus our favorite Christ. highlight. <laughs> you. Fuck you. You piece of shit. You know what? And now you she's gone to cursing. You piece of dirt that I wouldn't piss on if you were on fire. I smell you know an odor of alcohol on your breath. No, that's my piss. That's I'm, your piss? I'm pissing on you. Okay. Guess what? What? You're the worst part of the society. 
Thankfully, our <laughs> officer has thick skin and can handle her insults. Hopefully, it's thick enough to survive Mrs. Malarkey's bite attack. Oh, lovely. Okay. Now you're resulting to biting? What the hell? Hey, I didn't tell you to get out of the car. Stop. Do you have your me. phone on you? Don't touch me. Do you have your phone on get you? Get your f***ing hands off me. Where's your phone? Do not. Where's your phone at? Get your... Or, uh, do not touch me. Okay. Did I ever say you... Terrell. Do you or do not touch me. Get his f***ing hands off me. You do get your f***ing hands off me cool hey, if you keep resisting get your i'm gonna charge you with that if you, you know what i'm gonna charge you with putting your fucking dirty ass hands on stop me stop moving let me take off your watch F you you don't get to touch me you are a disgusting piece of shit right, the next time no the next time you fucking touch me hey get in the car sit in the car now she can add assaulting an officer to her growing list of charges sean yeah. continued kicking and screaming all the way to the police station but when they arrived, she seemed more concerned about her wristwatch. I have your watch. Oh, is it accounted for? What's up? I didn't get any paperwork accounting for it. We drove four blocks. He has custody of your watch okay. in the booking room. Hey, guess what? Just so you know, with body Gu camera, your watch is right here, okay? Guess, guess, guess what? How about what's that? I don't take anything for granted. That's great. Can you hop out of the car now? I don't know. You want to drag me out like you, like you drug me in? Uh, no, I, I prefer you, not I, to. No, I know you enjoy that. Oh my gosh, That's she's being opinion. so yeah. uncooperative. Oh, experience. Thank you. Are you going to willingly exit this car or no? I don't think I can because my feet are tied together and my hands. So I don't think okay. that I can I'll, I'll willingly. I'll help you out then. I'll help you out, Sean. Come on. Dick. Let's go. She's right. Walking with your hands and legs bound is pretty tricky. No worries, though. Our <laughs> officers were more than willing to carry her. How many I've served you guys she looks food. like a mental I've patient. I've sat out there and served you guys hot dogs. I wish you would just be nice to us. Like I wish you would be fucking nice to me. Are you fucking kidding me? In the end, Sean Malarkey pleaded guilty to one felony count of aggravated DUI, one felony count of aggravated assault on a police officer, and one misdemeanor count of resisting. Per her plea agreement, she was sentenced to 24 months of probation plus Jeez. 10 days in county jail assuming she completes all court-ordered treatments and abstains from alcohol. In the words of Mark Twain, never argue with stupid people. They will drag you down to their level and then beat you <laughs> with experience. You could easily replace stupid people with Karens and the quote would retain its meaning. On January 17th of 2022, a routine traffic stop in Parker County, Florida turned into the dumbest conversation of this officer's life. Jacqueline Roos was allegedly going 52 in a 35 mile per hour zone. Jeez. When our officer asked for her license and registration, the 28 year old know-it-all hit him with this gem. You got your license, registration, proof of insurance. You don't have to have a license to drive a car. Yeah, actually, yes, you do. You do uh, yes, you do. What the hell? 15, 7, 41 with me. Apparently, in, in 2022, you didn't need a license to drive a car. Step out the vehicle. Apparently, in 2022, you, you, yeah, you didn't you need a license to drive right a car. Now. Step out the vehicle, young lady. According to this woman, anyway. Either you step out the vehicle, I will remove you from the you, vehicle. You could just drive a car. You could just say, buy a car. It's like, here you go. How come every time someone says, I know my <laughs> rights, they generally don't? If she did, she'd know she has no yep. right to drive without a valid license. Vehicle right now. You are going to get me a supervisor out here right now. That's fine. I know my rights. What right is that? I, I do not have to have her driver's license to drive a car. I am not, this is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. Well, because I it's know not, my rights. Okay. It's not a commercial vehicle. That, Very well. That's what you want to stick with? Call a supervisor right okay. now. All right. Listen to how Jacqueline keeps digging herself into a deeper stupidity hole. What is your name and badge number? I already told you my name. It's Officer Banks. I didn't. And I, what is your badge number? It's Officer Banks. Are you failing to to? Are you failing to give me your driver's license? I don't have to give you a driver's license to drive a car. This is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. So you're not going to give me a driver's license? I'm not going to give you a driver's license. I don't have to give you a driver's license. Okay. This is the I'm dumbest traveling. shit I've ever heard. I don't, I, I don't have yeah. to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. And what state is that? Any state. It's common law, natural law. Okay. Constitutional law. Okay. You need to get a supervisor out here. I do?
We are not responsible for any brain cells lost while listening to this woman. She finally got her wish when a supervisor arrived. However, the conversation didn't go as planned. So, you do need a license to drive a vehicle. And you do have to identify yourself to these officers. I, I do not have to have a license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. Yeah, you do. You're wrong, but okay. I know common law, natural law. I don't law, care about common law. law. You're in the state of Florida. I think her common law is from the fifth grade. You're in the state it of Florida. It doesn't matter in what state It I'm does in. matter. I'm in the U.S. It does matter. Out of the car now. Undo the seatbelt. Turn the vehicle off. Turn it off now. Officer Schaefer, unbuckle her. So that's it. Put all that down. Step out, turn around, face away from me. Turn around, face away turn from around. me. Turn around. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. <laughs> no, I do not. Well, then you can tell that to the judge if you end up going to jail. The judge the is just going to laugh at her. After the police ran Jacqueline's info, it turns out she does have a driver's license in Mississippi. Well, at least she did. It expired in 2021, along with her car's registration. She also had a bench warrant out for her arrest for failing to appear in court. Then, as if that wasn't bad enough, police found loose ammo and cocaine inside her car. Oh, as God. you probably guessed, Jacqueline didn't think any of that applied to her. Of course not. not. Divine laws that aren't, that aren't valid. They're valid laws. They are not valid laws. The United States and the state of Florida seem to think they are. The United States has a constitution mm -hmm. that we, we fall under. Right. Statutes, and, mandates, and codes. So none of that matters. So under our constitution, it still gives the gut the state governments the right to govern themselves, correct? That's right. And the sheriff has all and the power. That's right. That's right. The sheriff does. He is yes, the he, yes. head law enforcement. He's not officer. part of NATO. He's not part of the Council on I'm Foreign not, Relations. I'm not part of NATO either. It turns out <laughs> the laws do apply to Jacqueline Roos. She was yeah. arrested and charged with possession, DUI, and driving without a license. So the next time you encounter someone like Jacqueline who claims to be hitting you with facts, just remember this timeless Twain quote, never argue with stupid people. I thought she didn't have a license for a whole year though. Mount Prospect is a small village in Cook County, Illinois, roughly 20 miles northwest of downtown Chicago. It's home to about 56,000 people, including one Karen who thinks it's okay to shove police officers inside the station. Meet Mihi Lucia Choe. All she wanted to do was file a police report. Unfortunately, things didn't go her way and she wound up getting herself arrested instead. I am trying to report that I have T-Mobile phone records. Of you don't. Okay, is this like some alternate reality where I have an email that you can't see? What are your phone records? So this is the number listed for Mr. Ingram. He claims I, I that I sent not, texts. We're done. We're not reopening this case. We are not investigating There is this. no case because I haven't filed one yet. I'm not taking a report. Okay, okay. I'm going to stand here so you, you let me take, file a case because you, you as can, a civilian, I have the right to do so. If you want to stay in our lobby, you can. But if you're disruptive, you'll be arrested. Okay, let's put me under arrest. I'm not arresting you now. I'm not arresting you now. Hey, now, now okay. you're under arrest. Let's do this. Okay. Um, For someone who wants to get arrested, she's making things really difficult. Noise Stop. warning. Okay. okay. Enough, Stop. enough, enough. I can't help you. Can I get more help with this? I'm about to in the lobby area. You're under arrest for battery okay. police okay. officer. Okay, can I put this in the front because I have a back issue? No. You are, no, no, I have a you, back issue. You are under arrest. Stop resisting. I have a back issue. Okay. Is brain disease? I can't. Stop. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Okay. Relax. I can't. I can't. Relax. I have a back okay. issue. Relax. Okay. Okay. I'm on muscle relaxers. I have Hold a lidocaine. Okay. Can you close the back, please? Let me go outside. Relax, Ms. Thorne. Back issue. Okay. Not letting me. Just relax. relax, and then we'll get it all taken relax. care of. Okay. You don't have to arrest me. Okay. You were under arrest. You battered me. You were under arrest. No, I, I shoved you because you, you weren't giving me the right to file a police report. I'll, I'll remain quiet. You are getting handcuffed. Where it's not I, I would like to. Yeah, it, just just stop. You gotta let go. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. This is racism. This racism. Is ultimate racism right here. How is this racism? Put your hands behind your back. You were under arrest. Do it now. I'm sorry. I don't understand English. Could you get me a translator, please? 
But you're answering Commander back in Anthony English, Adante you may have sounded dumbass. rude initially, but you don't know the backstory. In early 2021, <sighs> Miss Choi met a man named Ethan at the gym. She gave him her number, but it didn't work out, and he filed a protection order against her weeks later. After the order, Mount Prospect Police asked Miss Choi to talk at the station. She had allegedly texted Ethan, thus violating the protection order. The nature of those messages and their relationship are unclear. A year later, on August 5th of 2022, Choi tried filing a harassment complaint against Ethan. She had been on this crusade since 2021, and Mount Prospect police were sick of it. According to them, her claims had zero merit. She made a stink and wound up face down in handcuffs, at which point Miss Choe suddenly changed her mind. Please stop! Please! Please, I will do anything. I'll just go home. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please stop. Okay, stop resisting stop. and give me your arm. Please stop! Please stop, I understand, I understand. You can just shoot me now. If the cops wouldn't let her go, maybe God would intervene and deliver her from this evil. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. <laughs> we'll spare you the whole prayer. Just okay. know she said it four Jesus. times in full before finally giving up. After this encounter, Miss Choi turned around and sued the Mount Prospect Police Department for Three, violating four, her rights. Five, six, In her lawsuit, seven. she claims seven that cops, Commander sir. Adante aggressively breached her personal space, at which point she gently placed her hands on him. Body cams don't only keep police officers in check, they also keep unruly <clears throat> Karens from making things up. According to the village manager, we don't believe there is any merit to this and we will vigorously defend the lawsuit. Damn. Some Karens think they're so entitled that they can literally drink and drive. On March 10th of 2023, a sheriff's deputy in Columbia County, Florida, pulled this woman over after watching her cross the center line twice. He could practically smell the alcohol in her car as he approached the window. You can probably smell it through your screen. <laughs> Got to me. If only that were possible. You know why I pulled you over? Yeah. Why? Uh, which, which offense? I, I don't know. Why do you think? He's got... Yep, Deputy Scott with the Sheriff's Office. Yeah. Do you know why I pulled you over? What do you, what do you need, hon? Uh, well, this is a traffic stop. Yeah. And so I pulled you over, one, because I watched you cross the center line twice. I watched yeah. you cross the white line once, and then you also ran the stop sign coming off of 18 no, on the 441. Yes, ma'am, you no, did. Sir. You've got yeah, to come I'll to it. That. That's, That's you can cool. fight whatever you want. All right. So step out the for me. So you can shut it off. Step out. Epic kid. That's. Who do I need to call. Nobody. Yeah. You're not going anywhere. I'm just having you step off because all these cars are passing me. Do you see all the cars no, coming? This is all for safety. I'm not stupid. Stop. You might not be stupid, but you're definitely drunk. 100% drunk. Yeah. yeah. No. All right, we just want to get this in my car. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Who do I need to call? Watch, don't walk in the road. Get over there. Please stop. Stop what? Trust me, for this before three, she's extremely to me. Call Tom Mansfield. I'm right. not calling anybody. Have a seat in the front of my car. No. Have a seat in the front of my car. No. Yes, ma'am. You do. All these cars I are don't passing have by. To. As if her slurred speech, glossy eyes, and general attitude weren't enough, this Karen was dumb enough to drive around with an open beer in the cup holder. Karen goes <laughs> on to explain how the car belongs to her grandmother. So, not only is she driving drunk with her kid in the car, she's driving without a license, and she's driving a vehicle that isn't hers. Our officer can't wait to slap the cuffs on. He just has to make sure someone can get her son. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty much the most important bit. You do. Like I asked you, you do. earlier. You do. I know, honey, I'm okay. not stupid. Well, go ahead and make that phone call. Cool, give me a phone, please. Uh, you don't have a phone? Nope. Hey, you don't have a driver's license either, right? I don't, no, I got nothing. Uh, no, no, no. So, Put your hands behind your back. Ooh. Put your hands behind your Ooh. back. Ooh. You do not stop. What's your stop. What's your What is your Stop. What's your Stop, Jessica. What the Jessica, stop, stop now. Right. Stop. Scott, stop. Right. Stop. 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 St
Stop. Stop. I, oh. oh my god. Stop. What the f Stop now. What the f Stop. What the f Stop. 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 My kid is You're in going car. in I, this car. Stop. My kid is in my Stop. Car. Hey, be still. Justin. You're making this. You're and now, now the kids are crying. I'm going to spray you. Have a seat. Stop. Slide in the car, Get Jessica. The go off. Slide me. in this car. I'm going to spray Get the. Get in the car. Your kids want to see you get sprayed. Cyrus, Get in the car. Good. Shut the. Fuck get up. in the car now. Shut the. Fuck up. I'm going to spray you. Jeez. Have a seat. Jessica, have a seat. You're going to get I'm telling you right now, I don't care. I don't care, hun. I don't care. The high point of Karen's day was not getting pepper sprayed in the back of a cop car. The high point of her son's day was becoming an honorary sheriff's deputy. In the end, <laughs> she was charged with DUI, child abuse, and driving with a suspended license. If we learned anything from this, Karen, it's that telling an officer, I'm not stupid, honey, means you probably are. Yeah, she told him twice. Let's face it, nobody liked wearing masks on airplanes. It simply bothered some people more than others. Take this Florida Karen from the pandemic era. On July 7th of 2021, 23-year-old Adelaide Schroang boarded a Delta Airlines flight at Southwest Florida International Airport. As we all know, air travelers were required to wear masks at the time due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Adelaide decided no mask was the hill she would die on that day. The flight Oof. attendants asked her kindly to put one on, at which point she refused and allegedly began spitting on people. That's when local police officers got involved. No. Oh, to everybody, great. Just stand up, man. everybody is You're doing gonna this. You're going to get arrested if you do not I'm stop. I'm already going to get arrested. What am I up. doing that makes you feel like you have a right to put your hands on me? Seriously though, no. can you tell me that? Tell me can you just help me understand as a as a human that is alive? Why why do you seriously though? In America, you have the right to free speech and protest. You don't have the right to throw a tantrum and ruin everyone else's travel plans. Thankfully, instead of deboarding and delaying the flight further, police escorted Adelaide back to the terminal. You should have to honor that. That's my right. Don't talk to the cops and tell them we need to remove no, her. No, it really is. No, that's my right. It's like, you need to... No, Sit. we're getting to the point where you're not expecting... You're not respecting my human rights Let's as go. a constitution. Oh, that's, that's not true. I didn't do anything that did anything to... No, man. You would hate for that to be your first time on a plane. You know it. 29, so you know it. 10, 15. From there, it was a quick walk through the door and to waiting police cars. No, why would I stop when you lie to me? How is anyone going to stop anything when you lie to them? You had your chance, ma'am. I had my chance. You didn't you, even give I me a chance. You, I looked at you in your eyes you and I knew you were lying to me. You can't bullshit me. I don't think a cop would try and bullshit you. Cop is very serious. She refused end, to get Adelaide off. Adelaide was arrested for resisting an officer, interfering with aircraft operations, and trespassing. She ultimately pleaded guilty and was sentenced she to six months probation. She wouldn't wear a mask on the plane. Oh. Leave it up to Florida to produce one of the craziest Karens we've ever seen. This one comes to us from a bus stop in St. Petersburg. When officers arrived on the scene, all they knew was that a woman with a baby on her chest was seen physically assaulting one of the security guards. She wasn't hard to spot, and officers moved in to question her about the altercation. They should have known this Karen wouldn't answer any questions peacefully. Nothing, I missed my bus. Okay. So why are we out here? Why? Because I missed my bus. So why am what I kind here? of question? 
You tell me. You're approaching me, sir. Okay. Well, <laughs> here's the long and short of it, okay? Lose the attitude with me. I didn't cause any problems. Am I under arrest? You can be. Do you want to go no, to jail? No, I'm asking. Am I under arrest I right can now? make that decision right now. Do you want to go to jail? Am I currently under arrest? You're being trespassed at the very least, okay? For, for what? She wants you off the property. You better lose the attitude. What then is I with you? I will leave. I will leave. Give me your information real quick. No, thank you. Give me your information real no, quick. No, sir. Ma'am, listen. Sir. We are not playing this game. I have we a meeting to go to. We're guessing she never made it to that meeting. Definitely not. You're being detained on... On for what? Of assault. You, on battery. Assault? You, you, you put your hands on the security. Are you serious? Give me your name and information <laughs> right now. Do not cause issues while you have a Is trial. What is wrong? Yes, it's on. Perfect, thank you. Give me your information right now. You're going to wish his body camera wasn't rolling after seeing this footage, lady. Stop trying to pull away from me. Stop it. What is your deal? Just give me your information. Right. So you're going to go to jail? You're going to go to jail? Away you're going to go to jail and your child's going to be Put your hand down. Don't raise your hand at me. Ma'am, no, listen. You're not going to I'm scared a baby more. Like, Jesus. While the other cops stayed and talked with the mother and child, our body cam officer went to speak with the victim and witnesses. As the story goes, Karen was riding her motorized scooter through the busy bus station at a high rate of speed. For the safety of others and her child, a female security guard stopped her and said she couldn't ride around the station like that. Karen freaked out, at which point the guard leaned back and took a picture. That allegedly sent Karen over the edge. She began hitting and slapping the guard all over her face and chest. And remember, she's doing all of this with a baby strapped to her chest. When our officer returns, he finds Karen in a much calmer state. She leads them back to a white van where her friend or sister, we're not sure, takes the baby. From there, officers place her in handcuffs and lead her back to the squad car. She was a different woman than what we'd seen before. We think the gravity of the situation finally hit her and she realized that cooperating with the police was her best option. Smart choice. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time. Oh, yeah.